Honorable members of the faculty, we summon you here today to address the issue of anti mudbloodism in Hogwarts. You guys are all professors, which means you're smart, so this shouldn't take long. Let's start with you, Professor McGonagall. Does advocating for the genocide of mudbloods violate the code of conduct on bullying and harassment in Gryffindor? It's a context-dependent decision, Professor Dumbledore. <laughs> Excuse me? How is calling for the genocide of mudbloods not a violation of the rules? It's a context-dependent decision. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you, Professor McGonagall? Aren't you supposed to be one of the good guys in this story? You're telling me that calling for genocide is dependent on the context? Oh, yes. Context. It's a new spell that makes everything that's wrong right. Context. <laughs> what a frickin' witch. Okay, moving on to you, <laughs> Professor Sprout. Does advocating for the genocide of mudbloods violate the Hufflepuff code on harassment? Answer me yes or no. It's a yes or no question. So answer me yes or no. Yes or no. <laughs> Wait, wait, are, 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 you, are you okay? Did, did you become mental? Are you mentally capable? How is that not harassment? Well, if speech turns into conduct, it can be harassment, yes. Okay, look, look, look this, is, this is a very easy question. Okay, this is not the rules of Quidditch here. You're telling me that calling for the genocide of mudbloods is not bullying or harassment? That's what you're telling me? Well, it's just words, not even the N-word. When they start killing mudbloods, then yes, that would be harassment. And if they kill all of them, it's classified as bullying and we might take action, depending on the context. Merlin's fucking beard. <laughs> okay, Mr. Snape, I think I can already guess your opinion on the matter. Well, I'm the more complex character here. On the one hand, as a slithering professor, I do have some feelings against them. But on the other hand, as a half-blood myself, I think calling for the genocide is perfectly all right. Uh, you, you know what you are? You are a self-hating mudblood, which is the worst kind of mudblood. I prefer the term half-blood. I, I, I want to avada cadaver myself in the fucking head. Well, well, what happened to you all? This used to be a good school when I left you in book six, which, by the way, was the best one. Have the dark forces penetrated the castle walls? Who was it, Voldemort? It's the state who must not be named. Yes, the Qataris. Oh. <laughs> really? Well, uh... How much are they paying you? Oh, they shit dollars on us. <laughs> give, give me a figure, like what? Oh, well. <laughs> Just give me something. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 why didn't you just say that from the start? I mean, for that kind of money, I'd say fuck all the mudbloods myself and the Jews, too. And if you didn't get the metaphor, that's because you're as stupid as a Harvard Graduate. This hearing is adjourned. Let's go get some shish kebab. Oh, oh, shish kebab. I love shish kebab. It's a woman. Let's get home. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.